Hey there, Aries. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot doing your next three months love reading for June, July, and August. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below the video. Um, yeah, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. All right, the month of June right here. Then we're going to take a look at July. This is a love and general reading, okay? So whatever energies I'm able to pull up for you, I will. And we have June, July, and then we'll take a look at August, okay? Okay. So June, what's going on? You've got the throat chakra here, okay? Um, there's a need to speak. You have something to say. Um, it's a five. So there's an energy of realigning yourself to um, your words, what you believe, being able to articulate those things in your words. It may be something you need to say to someone, uh, some truth. This throat chakra energy is like having um, good sound communication. It can have uh, it's in the area of the thyroid, so it could have something to do, somebody might have something going on with the thyroid here. But let's take a look here. You also have choose wisely and partnerships and alliances. So there's a need to um, speak your truth in the month of June um, about your partnerships, your relationships with like people in particular or things that you may need to say to someone or others or one particular person. Okay, but you're being asked here to choose your your words carefully. Okay, let's take a look at your throat chakra. Okay, three of pentacles. So this does have to do with teamwork. So there is an energy of something coming up here. Maybe working with someone or speaking about crafting your skill. Um, this mostly feels like the things that the things are something that you need to say to someone use skill in how you communicate with a particular person. I feel like choose wisely has to do with <clears throat> maybe having too many choices or commitment issues or uh, making a decision and speaking that out into existence of whom you prefer to be in partnership or alliance with, whether that's romantic or, um, you know, your inner tribe, that kind of thing. The Three of Pentacles energy feels like um, working on your craft um, in relation to the things you say or your speaking abilities. Now choose wisely. Yeah, Page of Cups. This definitely has to do with love. Um, asking yourself, who do you want to give your love to? Okay. Um, you have maybe a selection of people to share with or someone in particular that you wish to give your love to. And so communicating this to somebody. And these could be in reverse. Somebody could be communicating to you. There's a decision here that's being made, but you're also asking, being asked in June to speak your truth into, in, into and with those whom you have affections for, okay? So partnerships and alliances, this definitely has to do with being in harmony with others or being in union with others or someone in particular here. Okay. Um, so you have the sun, that's Leo energy. So there's something here about speaking success into all areas of your life, but having positive people connected to you. June is really a time for you to communicate your love and your feelings and your emotions Okay, whether this is new love or anything along those lines that you speak with just pure gentleness and care. 
okay but you have a decision that you need to make and you're being asked to choose wisely um it's kind of like i'm just seeing i had this just strange vision of you know like in a school where you've got the captain of the team and then you have the captain has to choose pick who he wants to have on his team okay make this de this decision that you have to make and if you have to let other people go or someone go you it's like you're being asked to do this in a gentle loving way the, and you know the three of pentacles can represent like a school thing it could be study um so it has something to do like with you're learning you're learning how to speak in a kind and gentle way so june is all about that energy uh, making a decision, making a choice to commit to something or just a particular group of people who you feel you gel with, whom you feel you're in alignment with, okay? Um, make sure that these, these people or this person is a positive force in your life. Make sure that these people or this person has the ability to bring you success in your life okay now all uh july you've got emotion emotional withdrawal why can i not talk today you've got emotional withdrawal victory and success and the third eye chakra so i feel like what's going here going on here the third eye chakra is like all about being able to see having that inner seeing intuition higher levels of a higher level of consciousness and i feel like in july you're going maybe taking some kind of a retreat um, you are withdrawing um, moving on from maybe a way of thinking or a particular group of people or a particular environment or negative thinking whatever it might be the eight of the, the emotional withdrawal is similar to the Eight of Cups. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know if you're going on some kind of a retreat here. Are you doing something that's giving you the opportunity to meditate or get into some kind of prayer state to rejuvenate yourself and heal? Victory and success is at the center of your entire reading, which represents you for the month of june july and august will have an energy of harmony self-sacrifice loyalty to yourself responsibility to yourself there's a sense of appreciation you may be receiving but victory and success i mean it's like you're getting some recognition or you will be getting some recognition or feeling victorious um there's good news coming to you after this like retreat of some sort that you're having yourself embark on let's get a clarifying card okay you've got the queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn um there's just this energy of like retreating to ground yourself um so we do have leo energy and then there's earth so far july i feel like queen of pentacles will be um important or significant or symbolic to you in some way um hmm. not really sure how so let's let's get one more clarity clarifying card here oh death okay transformation queen of pentacles may have some, maybe having some kind of an effect male or female on a transition or a transformation you're making in your life in july okay um there's an energy of rebirth here um big changes and endings okay the death card is scorpionic energy as well so let's take a look and see what victory and success has for you oh wow eight of pentacles this is good mastering your craft you're going to be very successful in some kind of a work thing i feel or a career decision you're making or something along those lines something's going to really pan out for you in a very well a very beautiful way after this retreat i feel like it's going to be very beneficial that you go on this transformation and this journey putting an end to things from putting an end to some type of suffering that i feel like you may have been feeling or stagnation 
Um, there may have been like healing inertia, um, healing a hope being destroyed or feeling stuck, right? And I just said that twice. So I feel like you're going to be creating and mastering and building and becoming more consistent. And that's more on the financial front in your life here. Um, you also have third eye chakra. So what are you seeing? Oh, queen of cups. So you have two queens. So your third eye chakra is really just you're channeling how you feel, your emotions, or could be a queen of cups you're connecting with, male or female, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that truly brings you, um, you know, opens up that, that third eye chakra, helps you open that up. And um, it's something to do with a healing energy, a supportive, nurturing kind of an energy, um, there's tolerance and empathy. It's really like July feels very spiritual, okay? But you're making some type of decision in June, switching and changing things around, choosing people, places, and things very selectively, kind of like learning how to speak, speaking good things, speaking positive, that sun, speaking success into existence, okay? Um, now... It's either you're choosing in a gentle way to let someone down or some others down, but also um, choosing to connect with someone in a very loving, harmonious way as well. Could be new love. Okay, let's see. August, conflict and, de and defeat. Okay. So... I feel like... Um, I want to clarify. Okay. Hmm. Well, you have Ace of Wands on either. You may face some conflict or defeat in August. Something may come up. I'm not sure where that's going to come from. There could be some rivalry, obstacles, or some challenges that you face. There could be an element of... Maybe somebody saying something to you or about you um, that causes a bit of trouble. Um, there may be that element playing out for you. Okay, there's a bit of uncertainty attached to this. Um, could have something to do with freedom, wanting to be free, travel, making some changes. Somebody might, I don't I'm just feeling like somebody might say something to you that you're very inconsistent or something. I'm not sure why that would come up that might only be for a few of you but the ace of wands is there so <laughs> i just feel like you're you're starting something like some kind of new project or you feel inspired or you're creating something new and there might be some challenges or rivalry attached to that but i see you here your passion is like so strong that you're you, you're going to overcome. You're going to keep initiating. You're not going to let any conflicts pull you down. Okay. You're trusting your intuition here in August. Well, you've got the world. Yep. Your intuition is telling you to travel. Your intuition is telling you to take the world by storm, uh, to c keep going after and completing some kind of a goal or lesson. Um, it's telling you to like, your intuition is telling you to write a new chapter of your life, of your book, okay? Um, adventure, exploring. So you ha you're also, I just heard tell, tell Aries to start writing a book or vlogging or blogging or writing things down or, sh you know, that kind of strange thing. Like your intuition is telling you to do this. And I feel like that's your purpose and your plan and your path in August whatever it might be, whatever you're embarking on in your life here with the world, you're being told to like trust what your guides are telling you and keep moving forward. Now that passion ignited, again, there's initiation here. You're going to keep going. You're taking leadership of yourself. Um, you're being courageous. You're letting, you know, your willpower is taking you while wow, you've got the hermit you're on a mission for spiritual illumination. You're on a mission here to really take 
like I feel like you're going solo here with the with the hermit I feel like you're you're on a quest for personal truth this time in your life spiritual illumination okay you're going within for clarity you're seeking inspiration You'll be seeking inspiration continuously. You're, that's like the two mainstays of August is to constantly be initiating and seeking some kind of inspiration here in your life. You're not letting anyone or anything hold you back, not even yourself. Any obstacles that you might feel um, are getting placed in front of you or any you notice that you're putting restrictions on yourself you know we're born with abundance we just restrict ourselves from abundance that's all but we're born with abundance we are our own self-sabotager we are our and when we've acted out or lived in a particular way sometimes it's hard for us to see that we're doing that and we think we're you know, it takes a lot of self-awareness to look and, and or talk to someone and say, really? Or to give you another perspective on something. And I feel like you're getting that. You may be feeling that energy now and you're beginning to speak up and make changes and, you know, be inspired. You just want to be inspired in some areas or with having people in your life that just give you that passion. All right, let's get a couple of cards here. Okay, wow, you've got three of pentacles again. Do what you love, Aries. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors. You will be paid well for your craft, working well with others and having an excellent reputation. I feel like there may be this conflict and defeat may be coming from others. There might be jealousy. Um, you know, you're... I see you kind of like having your insp you're so inspiring that you're lifting others and, and it's lifting you and you're you're going to start soaring and there's going to be people who may be in competition look at those people running up those steps they, they, it's like they want to they want to beat you and you're just like I'm unbeatable <laughs> you don't know me have you met me <laughs> do you even know who I am it's like but it's not cocky it's just you when you get inspired to do something you're like a lit fire you know it just you just keep burning and going forward okay now you have the king of pentacles okay male or female so compassionate accomplished charismatic grounded a time of great success financial security and prosperity the you have the midas touch everything turning out beautifully a supportive parent and spouse and a good person to work for okay so this could be a work situation king or queen of pentacles um virgo taurus capricorn energy uh, male or female could be just someone who is very grounded okay you all oh you have the hermit again wow time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude shine your light as an example to others seek out or become a spiritual mentor self-discovery wow okay so for some of you you know you are going to be narrowing down your choices in love okay and choosing someone who fits you not someone you have to fit with okay and you're on some kind of amazing spiritual journey here over the summer now granted there will be other things going on in your life but these are the main things that are coming out here for you i just see a lot of inspiration really connecting to your soul and your intuition lots of success um really reaching these higher levels of consciousness in love career you know your health all those all of those areas aries so totally awesome reading i hope that you enjoyed that um don't forget to hit like share and subscribe i will see you very soon enjoy your summer bye